Welcome aboard, folks. Really excited to have you here. Let's talk about the demand for Google Cloud. Okay, so I've been uh, teaching and also consulting around Google Cloud projects for about four years. And I can tell you the last year has been pretty remarkable as far as the demand. So if you asked me a year ago, is there demand for Google Cloud professionals? I would say not really, not significant. However, now I'm starting to see more of an uptick uh, and, and that is good news because for folks that invested their time in Google Cloud, learning the skills, working with the platform, um, you will likely start seeing uh, more demand. And also too, um, I have to say that I have seen quite a bit of uh, what I would call requests around uh, employment and, and stuff. Not that I'm a FTE or wannabe, but I'm starting to get get those calls and uh, that's sort of interesting because I'm not really marketing myself in that respect and I do see uh, the roles. The one thing I did want to point out is um, a, a couple things. The first thing is on my screen you can see that there's this uh, global knowledge uh, basically survey that they did and they have the GCP Cloud Architect at pretty much number one for the top paying certification. This I find really interesting because I don't question that there's demand, but the salaries that I'm seeing for a cloud architect with, you know, a lot of these companies are like 140, 150 if, if you're lucky. And that's in Silicon Valley. So I don't, I don't even know, um, where that number really comes from. Uh, maybe some folks are getting really, really, you know, high, they're consultants billing by the hour and that's the number that they're putting in there. But I don't believe for a second that that's going to be the average employee role. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the feedback, please, what you're doing, how you're doing, uh, what you're seeing. Uh, again, I'm just relaying a message because as a technical trainer, I get a lot of these questions. And I had written a post about this. I'm going to post the link below as well. So that's the first thing. So I'm definitely seeing demand. Um, and then also this blog post that I have on Medium. I wrote up uh, this back in uh, last March, actually. And I go through what I'm seeing. Uh, again, my opinion is going to start to change on this because of the demand that I'm seeing. So if you're going to get a certification, to, to be honest, go for either the cloud engineer or the cloud architect. That's by far where the most demand is. And then if you're a developer, DevOps, certainly go after, after those certs. There's no question that uh, uh, there is going to be some demand for that as well. It's just a question of, again, I think a lot of it just depends on where you live. Uh, the, the challenge with a lot of these roles though, even though it's a cloud role, they don't want you to work remotely. You have to be on site, you have to you know, commute or travel to, to work every day. And because of that, it's they're limited to certain cities, interestingly enough, because I think Google has really done a good job of marketing in certain cities, but other cities just, I don't see the demand. And those cities that I see a lot of demand would be Chicago, uh, New York, San Jose, of course. Uh, also, too, interestingly enough, I've seen uh, Orlando, uh, but nothing really in Jacksonville or Miami. Uh, but again, it's all, I, I think, relative based on where you live. So with that said, uh, and I, I'm not really keeping up with what's going on overseas. So I, again, you know, if you see anything, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to relay it out to the viewers. Uh, with that said, I'm going to wish you uh, much luck on this. Uh, check out my blog post below, and I'll be updating a new blog post as well. And also, too, uh, in the link below, um, I do have some free cloud courses there for you in Google Cloud for those that are interested. Please click the link. I hope to see you again soon. Take care.